Hi everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for another PB&J card class. And in today's video, I will be using my Penny Black stamps along with the Misty, which is named the most incredible stamping tool invented, which I have to agree with. And this stamping tool, the Misty, is wonderful for today's technique, which is scenic stamping with color layering. And I'll be using one of Penny Black's newest holiday stamps. It's called Wintry T Trail. And this is a technique that I saw Virginia Liu do in a video, and she totally inspired me to give it a try. And I'm gonna link to her video down in the YouTube description box. You'll definitely wanna check it out. Here is the card that we'll be making today, and you will not believe how easy this card is to do using the Misty and this beautiful detailed stamp. So I'm stamping onto smooth Nina solar white cardstock, and I'm just positioning that into the Misty putting the magnets down and then just making sure I have plenty of room to do my stamping and I'll trim it down at the end. Go ahead and just close the Misty and then picked up the stamp and now it's open. And to start with I'm inking the entire stamp using the Smoky Gray VersaFine ink. And I just wanted to see the entire scene stamped down with the light ink and then I'll add my darker colors on top. And I'm going to do that a couple of times. One thing I found I really love about the Misty besides all of the great techniques you can do with it is that um, if you have trouble putting a lot of pressure and pushing hard down on a stamp this allows you to just do it a couple of times in case you miss any areas I have I get sore wrists sometimes and so this really helped me out with that so now I've cleaned off my stamp and I wiped it with a baby wipe and I'm gonna just take a paper towel and pat it along there as well just to make sure it's totally dry and now comes the color layering so now I'm taking a gathered twigs distress ink this is the mini ink pad and I'm just applying it to the outer edges mostly in those on those tree branches that are in the foreground. And I'm just going to press that down. And now to even spotlight those trees or darken them even more, I'm going to use a Tombow dual brush pen. And I'm coloring, just looking at the stamp and coloring on top with that pen. You don't need to be perfect by any means. And that's one reason I like to stamp the entire image first with that um, smoky gray ink, the VersaFine smoky gray ink, because that way if I don't completely color, color a branch or get this part perfect, it's okay. It all just blends. So I've colored onto those and I'm just going to press and stamp down. And the idea here is just to really keep layering until you're happy with the look. So I want those trees that are in the foreground to be really dark. So I'm going to do this plenty of times, even though I'm using the same marker just by putting more and more layers of ink, you'll see them start to get darker and darker. Here I'm grabbing um, a blue and I'm applying this to the background trees and I'm using a flicking motion so that it doesn't have an exact ending point along the top part. I don't want, didn't want it to look like here's the exact line where I stopped coloring. So by sort of flicking that onto the background, I avoid having that line going across. And again, doing it a couple times, and now you can start to see that coming to life on the right-hand side, on the stamped side. It's just so fun to do this and to see the scene just come to life before your very eyes. Here I'm putting some of that blue down at the bottom. And a lot of times as I was doing this, I thought, oh, I could stop right here. I really like it like this, but I always keep going and going with something. And so I darkened up these down here a little bit more. And again, even a little bit darker color on a few of these tree trunks and branches. I worked fairly quickly because I didn't want to mist this at all. So I wanted to color quickly onto the stamp and then stamp it down before it dried. Now I'm going to clean my stamp. So I'm using a baby wipe. I want to make sure that I get all of that ink off before I put my Versamark ink pad on here. I don't want the ink to transfer to the ink pad. So I'm just cleaning it with a baby wipe and then patting it dry 
with paper towel. And I'm going to just use an anti-static powder bag right across the image now because I'm going to emboss. So this is my Versamark ink pad and I'm just inking the stamp. Now because of the misty, nothing has moved. This is going to stamp directly over all of the stamping that we've already done. Everything will be perfectly lined up. So I'm just pressing that down again. Probably don't need to do it twice, but just to be sure that everything was covered up in that really detailed area at the top, I just inked it again and stamped it again. Now I can take it out and I'm going to sprinkle this with clear embossing powder and then heat to set. And what this does is it seals in all of the color that we've already added and stamped down. And we can add our inks now on top to the background, but these colors will now resist the inks that we apply. So the blue will stay blue no matter what color of ink we put on top. So now I have an ink blending tool with a foam pad and my Distress inks. This is Wild Honey, and I'm just applying that to the background. Next is the color Salty Ocean, and you can see the brown stamping, the blue stamping, all those colors remain true, and they're going to resist the ink we applied to the background because we were able to set, so to speak, those with the clear embossing powder. I'm adding just a little bit of shadows to the snow down below. And some of that gathered twigs ink around the outer edges and at the bottom, just to give it a little vintage effect. And this is Danube Blue ink by Memento. I just wanted a little bit darker blue that matched those trees in the background that we had colored with the marker. I just wanted to pull some of that color down here into the foreground in the shadow area. And that ink will also be resisted by the embossed stamping. And you can go back and forth with your colors till you're happy with the look. I decided now to pull in some of that wild honey just in a couple places on the background and also to create a visual triangle so you can see if you connected the dots from those three colors of yellow, you'd create a visual triangle, which kind of helps your eye move throughout the scene. And I just used a dry paper towel to buff the top of that and remove any ink from the embossed areas. So here's a look at the finished card. All I did to finish this off was stamp a little sentiment piece, added it to my note card with some twine and a die cut snowflake to embellish. I really love this technique with the Misty and this detailed stamp from Penny Black, and I think if you give it a try, you will love it as well. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, and I will link to all of the different ways you can connect with My Sweet Petunia, who makes the Misty, in the YouTube description box below. And here's a list of all the supplies used on today's card.